Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Hi Mathematics. today we have a very interesting exponential equation from Nathalie Baird. We have 2 to the x equal to x and we need to find our x. If you have your solution, your answer, you can also write your solution down into the comment section and in a few seconds we will check, we will check our answers. Okay, so first of all, let's apply natural log on both sides. Let's do this right now. So first of all, we have natural log of 2 to the x of the, our left side equal to natural log of our right side of our of our x so this is our first step right now we need to know a really important property this is like the most popular log property because this x will come down right here so we can easily write it before this natural log so this property looks like that when we have natural log of a right here we have for example b this b we can easily write right here so b times natural log Natural log okay. A. This is our property, and we're going to apply this property mm, right here on the left side. So we have x times natural log two equal to natural log x. So after first step, we have we have this expression. What are we going to do next? Right now, let's divide both sides by this x. So let's try to group our constant on the left side, or our variables on the left side doesn't matter. So let's try to group constant and variables. So for this, let's divide both sides by x. As a result, what do we have? We have x times natural log 2 over x equal to natural log x over over x. All right, and right now we're gonna cancel this from the left side. And as a result, we have the next expression. We have natural log 2, yeah? We have natural log 2 equal to natural log x over x. All right, this is our first step. But to be honest, I prefer variables on the left side. So we can easily change positions. So as a result, we have natural log x over x equal to natural log natural log 2. So after first step we group our variables on the left side, our constants on the right side. What are we going to do next? Right now we need to know about them, think about the theorem, about them, the approach, which is called like Lambert W function. This function will help us a lot because we can easily solve this question, we can easily find our root, but how this function looks like. For example, we have expression like a times e to the power a. And when we take natural log function, when we apply Lambert W function of this expression, we have only our a. And uh, yeah, with this expression, this is like a structure of our functions. For example, we have a and a, so for example, we have 3 times e to the power 3. When we have this expression, when we apply Lambert W function, as a result, we have only our a, but a equal to 3. So the main thing is to have like the same expression before this e and a power of e. And when we apply it, we have only, only 3. So right now, let's try to create something like that in our in our expression, okay? So first of all, we need to have e. We don't have e on the left side, on both on left and on right side, but how can we create this e? This x on, in our denominator can be written as e to the power natural log x, all right? So this x can be written like that. So right now, instead of this x, let's write this expression with, with e. So as a result, what do we have? We have natural log x divided by e to the power natural log x, equal to natural log 2. So after first step we have something like that. Right now let's write this expression from our denominator from to our numerator but we need to change the sign because when we have when we have 1 over a to the power b when we re, when we bring this to our numerator we have a to the power minus b. So when we have it when we uh, write this expression in our numerator we'll have e to the power minus natural log x. So as a result we have natural log x natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to equal to natural log 2 natural log 2 all right so i hope you understand this step right now let's look closely what do we have on the on the left side on the left side we have mm, something like that we have natural log x and we have looks like the same thing natural log x but this is negative nature this is minus natural log x but for applying number double function we need to have the same expression a and a this is not a this is a and minus a so for this let's multiply both sides by minus one Okay, when we multiply both sides by minus 1, we'll have one really important thing. We will have minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to minus natural log 2. All right, so we just multiplied both sides by minus 1. And right now, minus natural log x right here, minus natural log x right here. So, for example, this is our a and this is also our a. So, this is a great expression for us to apply Lambert W function. All right, so let's do this right now. Uh, when we apply Lambert W function of this expression, all right, so let's do this right now. So we have Lambert W function of this expression minus natural log x times e to the power minus natural log x equal to Lambert W function of minus natural log minus natural log 2. 
all right so minus nature look x this is our a this is also our a so as a result when we uh, simplify this one we have only our only our a and as a result this is our minus nature log x so we have minus nature log x equal to this expression lambda w function of minus nature log 2 minus nature log 2 all right and right now the final tricky move let's multiply let's find our x because we have minus nature log x we need to find our x let's multiply it both side by minus one does the matter division multiplication as a result we have nature log x equal to minus lambda w function of minus nature log nature log 2 how can you find right here our x of course let's um, take base of e okay let's write base of e on our left side so we have e of this power nature log x equal to e of this power minus lambda double function of minus nature log nature log 2 and right now e to the power nature log x we had something like that in the beginning so e to the power nature log x equal to equal to x so as a result on the left side we have only our x equal to this expression or we can write this expression in our in our denominator or let's write it like that e to the power minus uh, lambda w function of minus nature log 2 but uh, in terms of like another interpretation we can easily write it in our denominator so this is the first interpretation or we can also write it as x equal to we have 1 over e to the power with the positive sign because we write it in our denominator okay so lambda double function of minus nature log 2 minus nature log 2 and this is our this is our root and i want to show you i want to say a few thoughts about this uh, root about this uh, question because for example let's start with um, with our root okay and uh, if you look closely right here because i check it in my internet library because we have right here our uh, a lambda w function of this expression one this is great e is also great but what about this lambda w function of minus nature log 2 because i plug in this expression so lambda w function of minus nature log 2 i was interested about this expression because i want to find approximately value like uh, like uh, exact value to this x approximately exact doesn't matter but i want to find like a quick decimal approximation yeah and, and then i plug in this lambda w function of minus nature log 2 in my on my calculator but I will be a little, I was a little bit shocked because lambda w function of minus nature log two does not does not exist. Okay, it does not exist. Does not exist. Okay, and it means that this is our complex unit. This is our complex part and in terms of real numbers there is no way because uh, in terms of real numbers this lambda w function in this point exactly in this point minus lambda minus nature log 2 does not exist so it means that this root is complex all right so we are talking about uh, if you're talking about geometry if this root is complex then it means that this both graph does not intersect with each other okay 2 to the x we also know it as exponential function okay and uh, x these are a linear function so something like that and hence this exp this um value is a complex it means that these both graph does not intersect with each other okay so this is like a great note because a lot of students might be thinking okay this is our our real number uh, our real number root but no this is our complex solution this is our complex root because this value is also a complex uh, so in terms of real numbers there is no way that we have like approximately value approx approximately approximately answer so this is our complex part and of course when this is complex then e to the complex part this is complex and this x is complex part in, and in terms of like geometry in terms of geometry we don't have point of intersection so right now we can see a graph like from math library if you don't for example if you don't trust me you can use this is graph from internet library and i hope you i really hope you understand it so let's write our final answer first of all our x equal to let's let's take this one okay x equal to one over e to the power lambda w function of minus nature log 2 and of course this root is complex complex solution no real roots to this question no points of intersection in terms of in terms of geometry we don't have this point of intersection for example when we have x equal to 1 right here something like that we have one point of intersection but it looks like we don't have 
points of intersection? So a great question, like a great question for uh, for advanced student, I guess, because it's not an easy one with lambda w function, like a lot of properties, a lot of rules. So I hope you, I really hope you understand it. I really hope you you learn something new. This was my explanation. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope you learned something new. Thank you everyone for your support. Thank you everyone for your like. I really appreciate it. We have like more than 1000k subscribers. I really appreciate it. It inspires me a lot. It helps me a lot. Let's move forward. Let's reach more and more subscribers. I really appreciate it. It helps me a lot to make new content every day. Wish you all the best in your math adventure. Also write your thoughts, write your notes about this question. What do you think about this approach? Maybe you have your own approach. And wish you everyone all the best in your life. See you in the next videos and have a great day.